Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome to Battlefield 2042. And at the time of recording this video, I see as they got like a crossover with Dead Space. And I see as I love the Dead Space franchise. And what this particular mode is, this Outbreak mode, is it's kind of like a Battlefield version of Zombies from COD. So basically what it is, is kind of like Extinction where you have to complete objectives and make your way through the map and then to try and beat beat the particular mode so yeah we're going to be giving this a go wish me luck down below in the comment section and if you do enjoy this video smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new let's see if we can beat this battlefield zombies mode and fingers crossed we see more wacky cool stuff like this in the future we're playing as uh, iris from um, battlefield 4 if i remember correctly from the campaign Each of the characters that you choose have got like their own sort of like abilities. So with Iris, he's got this sort of like fortification sort of like ability where we can put down these like walls. Like barricade walls to try and obviously help us and our team. And the idea what I'm going to go with is going to try and block off certain pathways to stop enemies from pushing in. So then it gives me and my team a little bit more support in them sort of areas. You know what I mean? So it helps with like unique lines of sight and stuff. Maybe I can use it to cover objectives or stuff. So yeah, let's see how this all goes, okay? Wish me luck, boys. No action hero BS. We do this smart. Okay with that one. Let's do this. Hostiles would try and counter you on every front. Get control of the nodes to neutralize AOS and survive at any cost. So what I do know about this, obviously, it's kind of like a wave base mode, but you need to like lock down certain like pathways and stuff. And if you complete the objectives, you progress onwards, and as you progress onwards, you unlock new equipment, new weapons, etc. So that's what we kind of want to do. And plus, as well, what makes this even more perfect is it's falling nicely with the double XP until Monday at the time of recording this video. So I can get double XP. I get to level up really quickly. Despite not really playing much of this game. And I get to play a mode that's kind of like a Battlefield take on version of a COD mode. Oh, I've got to capture the defensive Nords, which is this basically like catching a flag. So while my team are locking down the other areas where the creatures or zombies, I'm going to call them zombies for now, where they come from. And obviously catch the objective. This mode as well isn't permanent, it's limited time only. Which kind of sucks. This is why I'm recording now. Well, obviously, depending on when you guys see this video, it's probably long gone. Um, it won't be on the game. Unless, of course, they decide to bring it back, which I hope that they learn from this mode and build from it because I think it's a cool idea, a cool concept. So, fingers crossed we see more of this sort of thing in the future. It's kind of like the testing the waters with this sort of thing, and I like it. You know what I mean, last time we saw a game in the FPS sort of scenery that did something similar to this was um, Rainbow Six, when they did, like, I think it was called, like, um, I think it was, like, Here called Outbreak. I think it was actually called Outbreak. But they did, like, an extinction sort of mode. And then they turned it into a full-fledged game, I think. I think it was called... Is it called Extraction? Or something like that? Which I... I it's on my to-do list. I do want to play at some point. Yeah, man. We got this, boys. We got this. Wave 3 completed. What if you can go, like, for, like, round 100 or something on this? Imagine how crazy that would be. Right, I'm going to try and lock down this objective. So we've got my little fortification in case I need it. I could easily put one down side by side, but nah. As long as I lock this area down with my shotgun, I should be fine. I'll say I've got my uh, pistol as a backup option if I need it. 
Also, take into consideration when you do play this mode, guys, that it is teamwork based. Like, you can't go doing this solo unless you're just really good at the game. Teamwork is key, okay? So just help each other out. I'm here. There we go. Let's get my team member. Right, I'm coming, bro. I'm coming, I'm coming. Alright. Let's focus on capturing the objective, okay? Quicker we capture this objective, quicker we can move on. Five. Let's move on. Okay, so we're in more of a bigger area here. So I'm going to put the barricades here. I'm going to try this. and lock off this doorway. Just in case we get like a big swarm of them coming this way. Because then we'll be able to use the barricades in order to, you know, <clears throat> keep the enemy threat out. Right, so you've got obviously choices there. You've got assault rifles and stuff, SMGs, shotguns, pistols. I feel like I'm good with what I've got at the moment. I feel like I've got a good variety at the moment. But yeah, let me know down below in the comment section as well if you'd like me to do more videos on Battlefield 2042 in the future. Like, I don't really play this game. I've got the game on PlayStation and on Xbox. I just don't really play it. But as soon as I heard about this particular mode in the game, I was just like, you know what? I like Dead Space. It's cool that they got a crossover with Dead Space. I need to play this mode. And a lot of people were talking like, oh, it's, it's, it's like a COD-style mode. I was like, you got me hooked. So you, you've already drawn me in. You know what I mean? Plus, I know, like, in the past, a lot of people did that old rivalry between COD and Battlefield or either one or the other. Like, for me, I love FPS games in general. I've I've always been a big supporter of COD. Like, don't get me wrong. COD is my baby. I'll always, I'll always play COD. It's always going to be my go-to franchise. But I don't hate other franchises. I don't think Battlefield's an enemy or nothing. I like all FPS games. I like games in general. I'm a gamer. You know what I mean? I can like other games without it becoming a rivalry. I like Rainbow Six Siege. You know what I mean? It's not a bad thing. So, I don't get these competitiveness. I get it. You know what I mean? It's people like things and people try and push things to be better than others. But, the truth is, guys, we're all gamers. We all enjoy what we enjoy. We all play the games we enjoy, okay? If you're a COD player, you play COD. If you like Crash Bandicoot, you like Crash Bandicoot. Doesn't matter what games you like, as long as you're enjoying them and you're playing them, and you're having a great time, that's what matters. Oh! Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Gotta reload! Cover me! Let me keep them away from that fortification. I didn't realize they can jump over. Shotgun's got quite some range on it as well, by the way. It's quite crazy. Objective is under our control. I marked a new objective for you, Notepads. All right, let's keep pushing, boys. Let's keep pushing. Ooh, we're out in the open now. Right, let's grab some ammunition. So far, so good as well. Teams working together. This is what I like to see. I love teamwork. Right, we've got to survive three waves and capture two defensive doors. I'm going to help barricade this area. So, one at the bottom of the stairs, one at the top. So then the enemy can't come running up the stairs towards me. So then it gives me a chance to try and lock this upper area. Plus, it helps me to be like more of an overwatch sort of like position to support my team from a higher angle point. So I'm going to roll with that. Because while my team are on the ground, I can be up, up and over. I can look around. And if the worst came to worst, I could just jump over the rail and jump down. But I don't think it's going to be needed. Let's 
So yeah, if you played this game mode, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. What do you think of it? Like, I'm enjoying this. I think this is pretty sick. Like, I think it's pretty cool. I'm still debating on what channel I'm going to put this video on. I might end up putting it on both channels. I'm not too sure. Like, it, 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 it's a good mode, man. I, I really like it. There's a maximum of 46 waves. Apparently. I've just seen it in the bottom left corner. Wave... Wave 10. Oh, no, no, no. That's not that, uh, That's not 46 waves. That's 46 enemies for this wave. My bad. I was just going to say, 46 waves? I'll fix this, like, game mode. Man, I read that wrong. My bad. Ignore me. Ignore me. 46 enemies. I don't know what the maximum, like, wave uh, number is. I'm assuming it's just eight endless, as long as you can survive for. But it's cool that it tells you how many enemies are in each way. I like that. Because then you know, like, what number you're looking for. If you had to put a fan on as well behind me, like, before recording this video, because this room's just gone so warm, man. I think it's because I've got my consoles on. I've got my, obviously, um, PC and everything on. So, I think that's what it is, guys. It's just the fact that it's just so warm. But yeah, I just want to say thank you as well for all the continued support on both channels, guys. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you for coming along and checking out my videos. Thank you for all the comments, the subscribers, who, the new subscribers, should say, as well, for checking out the channels. The new views lately on some of the older videos. I just want to say thank you. You're all the best, you know what I mean? Appreciate every single one of you, so thank you. Ah, come on. It's annoying as well because all the enemies have got guns. Suck on that, my friend. Suck on that! Want to play fire? Let's do this. Right. Make sure I'm all geared up. Uh, right. Now we've got to capture the Nords. So I'm going to go and capture this one. I feel like this is going to be more of the trickiest one. So I'm going to barricade myself in. So then I can just basically try and lock this little spot off. So if an enemy does try to ambush me, they've got the barricade. So it gives me a couple of seconds to react before they jump over and just basically destroy me. Unless, of course, they've got guns, and then I'm going to have to, like, camp behind the fortifications. Come on, we've got this, we've got this. Come on, team, come on. Lock down these Nords. Well, the nodes, come on. Not nodes, nodes. <laughs> Capture these objective light points. Hard points, basically. See, he could have easily come up behind me then and obliterated me if that fortification wasn't there. Alright, team, come on, come on, come on, come on. Push, push, push. Need to come this way. Get to the next objective. Man, how long is this mode, man? I'm going to try and lock down this little area here. I feel like if I lock down like a little corner, I feel like I can just watch all the angles. If another team member was like playing as Iris or someone who had a fortification ability, we could literally lock off this whole area here. Have a team of four people to sit behind these barricades. Oh no, team members down. Crawl over here, bro. Hold on, let's do this. Bro. Everyone just get over here, come on. You're just gonna get swarmed if you stay out there. This is crazy. The XP as well, man. Oh, 
no, team members are dying, they're dying. They're not gonna make it. The area, clear the area. Oh. Keep them away, keep them away. All my days. Oh. Come on. Go, 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 go. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up, bro. Get up, get up, get up. I ain't even going down yet. I think I'm doing pretty well. Proper team player. At first, I thought that these would be carrying me, but at the moment, it looks like I'm carrying them. The cod noob, the cod noob is coming to save the day. I have some C4 on me. Honestly, this is crazy. This mode is absolutely crazy. Oh no, team member. Don't go do like go saving, come on. Cover me! I'm reloading! Oh bro, why have you set yourself on fire? I say that and no, I did the same thing. Come on, get up. Right, we need to catch the nodes. Let's make sure you gear up, get plenty of ammunition. We need to lock down this area. If we can get this one locked down, then we can all push for the other objective. Hmm. Oh, be shot at! Not cool, bro. Not cool, okay? Jesus Christ. Oh, we got this. Come on, come on. Right, this one's been captured. Right, push for the next room. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Push, push. Right. Uh, wrong one. Barricade. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Another barricade here. Both both sides of the room locked down. Guys, there with the turret, and we all need to do now is just guard this entryway whilst we capture the north. Oh, the the node. Sorry. Why do I keep calling it a node? Capturing the objective. Hmm. Uh, no! I don't want to die by a juggernaut. Get out. Reloading! I don't know why the team didn't just come in this room. It would have made more sense. Get moving to your next objective. I'm here, bro. Oh, no. Don't die on me. Thank you very much. Get up. Right, next objective area. Get your asses over here, okay? Move, move, move. Come on. Right. Uh, I'm going to stick with the shotgun, man. This shotgun's just ridiculously powerful. Uh, right, we need to find a nice little spot. I'm thinking here. Maybe we can put a barricade here. In this little angle. Now we'll do. Here we go. And we put another one. 
right about here. So now we can literally lock off this room. So while my team are just roaming around, doing their own little thing, I've got myself a nice little, uh, little safety room for now. Come into my room if you want to live. And the team member dying. We ain't coming in here, bro. You're not that clever. There, honestly, though, guys, this this game this game mode is amazing. I really like this mode. Battlefield, come on, keep this mode in the game, man. Expand up off this mode. Introduce new levels and stuff, and new missions. Build a story mode off it, like like how Extinction did with like episodic chapters and stuff. That'll be amazing. With a big boss easter egg at the end. You know what I mean? That would be so cool. Oh, whoa, 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 There's quite a few, there's quite a few. Oh. Need to reload! Don't like the idea of being loads of them all at the barricade at once in case the loads decided to jump over. The, the, with the fortification thing being there in the first place, it just buys me a bit of time. So then I've got time to obviously counter-attack them. And like prepare for them to come my way. Well, I'm definitely going to need some more ammunition before we can go on another wave. See, I would switch to an assault rifle, but I don't feel like it's going to be necessary. I feel like the shotgun's doing the trick for me at the moment. So I feel like I should just, like, stick with it for now until, you know, I need, like, if I need to change it for whatever reason. I'll probably change it for, like, an LMG or something if I can get one. Come on, bro. Come on over. Days. Right, now we've got to capture the objectives. So let's gear up now. <sighs> Man, this room's so warm. I got this. I'm gonna put it here. I feel like I could like cover this door if need be. But as long as the barricade's here, it covers my back a little bit. Plus, if a team member's chilling there, that's even better. Explosive in place! I'll I feel like that'll do for now. The shotgun as well, it's got some mad range. Boom! No, 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 no. Need to be careful, need to be careful. Got promoted to level 18. See, you can tell I don't play this game. I wouldn't mind playing it, it's just one of them where... There's just so many great games to play these days. Like, I love playing Call of Duty, it's my main game. But I like playing other things as well. Like, I just don't really have the time most of the time to play games like Battlefield. Like, I've got nothing against Battlefield games, I love playing them. Like, I'm even considering, like... Going back and playing Battlefield 3 as a playthrough on the second channel at some point. But it's the fact that 
for me, I've always been more drawn towards the arcade shooters, you know, like Halo and Doom and stuff like that. So, with COD, it's always just been my, I don't know, it's just been something that's more, that makes, that makes me feel good. Yeah, it's one of them games which, you know, you're having good games, you feel good about yourself, you have bad games, then, you know, you're angry and annoyed, but I think it's just more that I played it for that long. It just becomes natural, like, it's just become a thing which I can't see myself ever not doing. Like, I still see, I see myself when I'm like 50 years old, still playing COD. You know what I mean? I'm a 30 year old man, and I still see myself in 20 years from now playing COD. That's how, that's how confident I am when it comes to the Call of Duty franchise. I see it being around for a very, very long time. Objective is under our control. Marked a new objective for you, no pads. Right, push, 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 push. I'm going to put barricades here. Putting up the and defenses. here. That'll do. Setting up some cover. Happy days. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Oh my days. Oh, enemies. Being shot at, being shot at. Your enemies coming in at all different angles right now. Wave 22. Down. I've got 50 enemies to take down now. Come on. Keep pushing. Come on. 
Right, wave 23 completed. We've got to capture two objective areas now. Man. How many waves is there? Much of it like 30 or 40, or maybe even 40 waves or something. That'll be crazy. Here we go. Alright, let's try and lock this down. Really do with more grenades. Come on, almost capture this objective. Push the next area. Come on, come on, come on. Looks like we're going up, boys. Oh, okay. This'll do, this'll do. It's a small little confined area, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down my barricade. And I'm going to put down another barricade right next to it, so... We've got two lines of the defense there, if they do try and push through that one little doorway. So this should be an easy capture. Should be. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Da -da -da. Right. I'm in the next sector. My team members are there. I'm gonna barricade this door. Let's buy two waves and catch a one defensive nord. Like node, sorry. Why do you keep calling it a Nord? I really don't know why I do that. What is a, like, where have I heard the term Nord from? I must have heard it from somewhere when we keep saying it. Probably from a game or something. That'll do, that'll do. We got this. We can get through this wave, get the next objective. Come on. Twenty more. Twenty one more. Come on. We can do this. Huh. Oh no, I shouldn't have blown down the barricades. I didn't realize it was gonna destroy him. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Right. Barricade here. Fortified and position. one here. I've got to capture the objective now. Uh, right. Uh, pardon me.
Come on. I think the team are capturing it. Fucking dead. Oh, they've captured it. Oh, we've got to extract? Oh, is this the end? Uh, okay, cool, the elevator. So, we've got to extract now. So, we've just got to basically survive for like another 30 odd seconds on. And then we can escape. We got this. A grenade. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, elevator's almost here. Come on, come on, come on. Get to the lift, get to the lift, get to the lift. Barricade's down. Let's give you additional support. Come on. Come on, get out of here. Come on! Suit yourselves, you guys can stay here then. I'm extracting. <laughs> but still, that was quite fun. Honestly, it was quite fun. I really, really did enjoy playing that. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more videos on Battlefield 2042 or here on the channel, all I ask guys that you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. What do you think of the Outbreak game mode with the crossover with Dead Space? I think it's sick. I really, really, really do. And I think it's a really, really cool thing to do. Anyways, have a great day, guys. And I'll uh, see you again next time. Take care.